Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, how you doing today? I am back with part two on how to set up your YouTube channel. How do you get started on YouTube? No matter what niche you're interested in, how do you get started? Back with part two today. Let me tell you what I have going on here, first of all. I have some seafood soup. There's some baby squid in here. There they are, baby squid, some shrimp, and there are some mussels down in here. Yes, right there, some mussels. There's broccoli and water chestnuts and noodles and everything. So good. But I want to thank all my subscribers before I get started with the story on how to set up your YouTube channel. I want to thank my subscribers. And to those who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Just become part of the family. That's all you got to do. Mm. This is a freezer surprise too. I made this soup a little while back. Mm. Stuff it in the freezer. And it's making a delicious meal today. Mm. Got a little rice here. Sometimes I just put the rice in like that. Other times I just eat it right out of the bowl. Either way, delicious. Mm. This is spicy noodle soup too. Spicy seafood noodle soup. Very spicy. So guys, yesterday we talked about the basics of just getting started, starting a YouTube channel. Mm. Woo! <clears throat> you know, like how to select your name and all that stuff like that. Mm. I'm switching to my spoon while I talk. It's going to be easier. Mm-hmm. Just having some water again today. Got a little soy sauce. I don't think I really need this, but I'm just going to use it just for the heck of it. Put a little bit in there. As you can see, it's almost empty. I have a full bottle in the kitchen. So I might just finish this off with the soup. Just get rid of it. <clears throat> so... Hmm. Once you get your name established and get yourself out there on all platforms,
and you're ready to start making your content. You're going to want to know how to keep your viewers. How do you secure your viewers once you get them? Once you get a couple people looking at your channel, how do you make them keep looking at your channel? Mm. Very important step. Look at this squid, guys. Look at that squid in there. Mm. Okay. First thing you want to do... is be consistent. That's the first thing you want to do. Be consistent with your content. When you're first starting out, a lot of people tend to jump around from one niche to another, trying to grab subscribers. That's a big mistake. Try to get your niche that you want to do and keep it in the beginning. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Get your base established first. Get your base established. So if you start out with mukbang and you've only been at it a month don't jump over to making jewelry or applying makeup or how to fix cars don't don't jump over to that if you want to do that then just start a whole new channel and do it separately aside from your mukbang keep your niche what it is if it is how to fix cars then keep it that. If it's mukbang, keep it that. Until you can get your base. Be consistent. Be consistent even down to the days and the times that you release your videos. If you're going to do a video every day, then make sure you do it every day. Do it every day. If you're going to do it twice a week, then do it twice a week. Let your audience know that you're going to do videos on Mondays and Fridays. Let them know that ahead of time so they're not looking for you constantly. Try to release your video around the same time every day. It's not as important as the number of days that you're doing, but at least try to keep it consistent with the time as well. If you're going to put your video out between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. every day, make sure that's what it is. Because people are going to be looking for it at that time. People will be looking for you at that time. Once they get used to you pumping out the videos at that time, they're going to be looking for you at that time. So 
try to keep it consistent with the time. But like I said, that's not as important as the days that you're doing it. If you're doing Monday and Wednesday, or Monday and Friday, keep those days, even if the time is off a little bit. People that start to follow you, <clears throat> doing whatever niche you're doing, they're following you for a reason, because they like that niche. They like it, and they want to see that. So if you're doing mukbangs, and they come to your channel one day, and you're applying makeup, or doing a toy review, then... They're going to be disappointed because they're not seeing what they followed you for. So that's why it's so important. Consistency is so important. And like I said yesterday, <clears throat> start with whatever kind of food you want to start with. If you're doing specifically mukbang, start with whatever food you want. Pay attention to your analytics on your YouTube studio. Pay attention to your YouTube analytics when you put out a video. Pay attention to the likes that you get on it. So let's say, for example, you're new, just starting out, and you put out a video on, I'll just use the old peanut butter and jelly sandwich, okay? You do a PBJ and check your analytics a couple days later. And you see you got 50 likes, 50 views, 50 views. Not likes, 50 views. And then, let's say you put out a Burger King. You do a Burger King fast food. And you get... 300 views. Well, that's 250 views more than your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That tells you
that people kind of like the watching you eat fast food better than they like peanut butter and jelly. So then you want to lean more toward doing the fast food. Maybe try, maybe not try the peanut butter and jelly again. Maybe try a couple fast food videos and then do a seafood boil. See how that views. But definitely watch your numbers because that will tell you. It will tell you for sure what direction you should be going. So you want to pay attention to that. So guys, <clears throat> I am going to continue how to build your YouTube channel tomorrow. I'll have more information for you tomorrow. I want to talk about how to enhance your channel for viewing pleasure. If you want to, it is something that will really help your channel, but <clears throat> if you can't afford to do it, then you just can't afford to do it. Continue on with what you're doing with the basics, but we'll talk about how you can enhance your channel tomorrow. So don't forget to tune in. Peace out my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.